Nice to meet you. Um, welcome to Create a Companion. Yeah, CAC. Um, so, what did you come here to look for today? Yeah, definitely. We can make that. We can make you a robot or a companion, like how we like to call it here. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I just need some of your information and I need you to sign a waiver letting you know that once you create this robot, whatever you do or say to him, that will be all on you. It's kind of like a human, human, like a friend, where, um, he only, or he, she, the robot can only come back to, uh, be repaired for just parts, but we cannot change the personality until, um, it completely completely gets shut down yeah so if you're okay with that I can just start off with your name your personal information a little bit last name okay date of birth yep mm -hmm. um, your phone number or email please so we can contact you Yep, email is fine. Uh huh. What was that letter? Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Um, and then, uh, we would like to. Yep, so I'm gonna give you like a waiver to sign, and that's about it. And I did tell you everything before. Once you take out this robot, or a companion, you can't come back unless it's for repairs, but you will not know what you do or say to your companion, and you can we can only um, take out its batteries, as we say simply, to put it simply, um, if that's okay with you. Yeah. So, I do have a waiver with me right now. Blue or red pen? Blue or red pen? Blue or red pen? Blue or red pen? Matter. So I would like you to sign here, here, here. Yep, just sign it here. And then this one over, yep. And then, yep, just that last one there. Thank you. Alright. Um, yeah, so if we can want to get started, I'll just start off with his physical or its physical attributes and then personality and then um, just like the name and everything else, if that's okay with you. Alright, so for the look, for the head, body, arms, legs, do you want a circle face? Okay, so we're going to start with the head. Do you want a circle face, triangle, or a square? Yeah, we only have those three options as of right now. We're still going in this, like, this part, you know? It's very simple. So is that? Yeah. And for the body, did you want a square, circle, triangle? Very nice. And then for the arms, did you want it to be a little bigger, like a little thicker, or just like skinnier? Yep, yep, yep. And all the hands and feet are the same, they're just gonna have one shape. Um, and then for the legs, did you want it to be square or rectangular, or did you want it to be like a circular? And thick or thin? For sure. And for the face, um, for the eyes, did you want it to have circular, square, or triangle? And what color? Yeah, we have any color. We can make um, colors very um, all different. Every color we have. Uh, yeah, we can definitely make that one. That's a very pretty one. Um, I'm just going to put a little description of it 
so if you can just describe me of what the color is like yeah so we can like kind of imitate it okay and then that's for the eyes and then for the nose did you want to have like a block nose so like a square or a rectangle on the face did you want to have a button nose so like a circle or, or did you want like a triangle nose yeah yeah no these ones like pop out so they're not gonna like run it's not like a traced on type of thing it pops out of the face yeah okay and then for the mouth um we have actually a lot of options for this one so we do have, sorry, I'm a little mess right now, but we do have the smiling with the open mouth, the smiling with the closed mouth, we do have the um, sad face, I mean who wants a sad face, right, but some people would want a sad face, um, we do have the sad face that's open mouth, we do have the little chub chub with the lines, and then we have the smiley face with the teeth if you like that one or we do have an option where the mouth the mouth um moves by itself so it's kind of like a tv screen almost where it turns happy sad or whatever and then it has it by itself of course that is an act um that is extra sorry that's extra so uh, if you'd like that we can we can have that for you it's a great option. Um, it's new and everybody likes that option because it makes it seem more realistic. Yeah, no, that's a good choice. I would definitely choose that too. Even though it's a little extra. So, but it does show emotions more clearly as a companion. Okay. Um, so that was the mouth for the ears. Did you want to have circular ears did you want to have square block ears or the triangle ears triangles this time will be popping outward so you're going to see two triangles like this whereas the circle and the square will be like onto the head yeah we can definitely do that for you um all right so we do have additional um accessories if you'd like uh, we have hair, hats, anything that goes on the head. Um, it does make it seem a little more realistic. Hair, especially, it costs a little extra than the hats and the bows and everything like that. But um, if not, you don't have to purchase those. You want the hair? The hair on the robot? No, it's really cute. Yeah, okay. All right that's everything about oh we do also have clothing pieces for the companion it's just um my personal tip i would just go get i would just go buy a shirt or like get one from your closet and put it on it so don't even waste your money on this yeah no i know it's it's so expensive here don't even try like a t-shirt it's like 250 dollars yeah it's crazy okay it's fine don't get it don't get it don't get it okay um, so that's it about the physical looks. We're going to go with the naming your companion. And then once we're, and then once we're done that, we're going to give it some, some personality. Okay. So what did you, did you think of a name? We can always come back to this part. Yeah, we can come back to this part. Okay. Um, did you, you want to name some hobbies? So regarding to hobbies, you do need to take care of this robot or this companion like a pet. So you can't just give it hobbies and then not go out to the store to go buy um, its hobbies or yeah, <laughs> the stuff for him or her or it. So you might, you might want to, yeah, you might want to think about this one. So if it's sewing, you have to go out there and buy the sewing kit for it. Um, if it's swimming, make sure you have a pool. Yes, yes, the robot can swim. I know it's surprising. It's I don't know how the mechanics work, but it works. Um, 
if it's like basketball you gotta have some basketball and also bring it to like a basketball court you know or it's gonna like be going out by itself you have no idea what it's gonna do um it's yeah and then or it's gonna start breaking stuff in your house and yep we had phone calls like that before but you know this is why we make people sign the waivers we don't really have any parts on how to control the robot but to bring it back here and remove its batteries so yeah okay anyways continue on volleyball volleyball is a great sport do you like volleyball yeah i love volleyball too okay you can give it a minimum to three hobbies just so yeah something you would want to do together too so even like um you can even name the difficulty of volleyball that it's good at because sometimes people come here to create a companion so for example um this person came in and they wanted basketball and i was like okay um and they're like but can i make the best then uh, it play like basketball like at like a difficulty level or, or like as a, as like the best basketball player so they can challenge each other yes that's why some of our some of the companions here that we make is yeah so did you want to add like a difficulty level on that volleyball for sure no it's not an additional cost it's just a hobby okay anything else just volleyball mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay yeah we can do some cooking was there anything like in specific or just in general yeah anything else just those two for now yeah but we might need one more okay just yep okay yep awesome awesome all right so we got a minimum of three hobbies right now um so after hobbies do you want to give it some traits some personality traits yeah um so you know anything from like kindness respect those are like the general ones you can give it up to 10 traits yep okay just keep naming them yep yeah that's a cute one that's a cute one that's good Alright, um, so that goes for personality traits, and then any like extras, it doesn't, this doesn't cost, it's just, um, anything extra that you wanted to do like daily, for example, like cleaning your bed, or um, maybe adding like a speech, or a little something every morning, like a good morning or something. Of course, those you can always grow their personality or its personality, but you can add extra things if you'd like. But anything other than that, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, and then the rest is up to you. I'm just going to punch this in real quick. If you have any questions, just ask me while I'm... Yep, and then have you thought about a name for it? That's a beautiful name. That's a beautiful name. And then like a middle name. Yep. That's awesome. You even thought of a middle name. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. Um so like I said, like the rest will be heavy to be up to you. Um, to grow it with its personality and and um if you want, you can add more, you can try to give it more hobbies, but um, it's harder. It's like you have to maintain it. Um, it's not really easy to, to, to grow its hobbies, but if you want, you can come back and add more hobbies. Um, it's just you might have to call us. We do have a long lineup for these things. Um, I think that's about it. 
I forgot about one more thing um, about its physical, um, its height. So, do you have like a specific height in mind I can, I can put down here? If not, we do have like just an average height. We do just do like a good like 5, 10, 5, 8. We can do any height, yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, that's awesome. Uh, as for hair, it's just like human hair. It's gonna grow. It's natural. Whatever color is gonna come out, it's not up to uh, up to us to choose. Um, it's the programming, and then once it grows out, you can just dye it. You know, it's just like normal human kind of hair almost. Um, of course, not human hair, but it's like. You know, how you can just dye hair and then cut it and it'll just regrow back. It's part of all that programming. Yeah. Um, and that's about it. I don't think I'm missing much. It's, yeah. So the total after the robot and the extras is going to be, is going to be 800,000, 825. 825k. 825,000 dollars. Yep. Um, yep, I can just pull up the machine for you and then we can just put that through. Um, it's a check. Yeah, no worries. Yep, I'll just grab that. Yeah. All right. Um, so you can come back in three weeks, and your robot will be will be done and ready, and you can pick up your companion. All right. So it was nice meeting you. Yeah. Um. So just three weeks, and then we'll give you a email to come pick up your companion. Thank you. Bye.